and type the same commands like show log id show log 98 99 system information version and we check the results after hard reboot if our configuration is lost then maybe our memory card is faulty or flash memory is faulty and somehow if our ping is replied after hard reboot and no more hardware or memory error observed it means that our system reboot power off test is gradually pass observe it means that our system reboot power off test is gradually pass observe it means that our system reboot power off test is gradually pass next one is the tx power verification test which is used to check the patch codes for trans and receive terminals of the sfp like for sfp we directly check the power of sfp through optical power meter and check the expected result if our power is within the threshold then our sfp is fine our patch code is fine and system is giving good result next one is the dc voltage and grounding test which is used to check the dc voltage its value is between minus 40 volt to minus 70 volt if the value is below the threshold and we are getting low voltage it means there is something wrong in the dc voltage power supply and for the resistance we check it through the ohm meter if the resistance is less than 50 ohms it means our resistance test is actually going in fail mode and we check the resistance from negative to positive and from positive to negative terminal of power supply unit and for trans power verification we check the trans power range for SFP with respect to the distance traveled in kilometer for a particular link the trans power range is given within the threshold it must be within the threshold if it's going beyond the threshold it means there is something wrong in your SFP or patch code and you need to troubleshoot that link and that RX value should be less than greater than 3 dB that minimum threshold must be greater than 3 dB so I think the TXRX power concept is very basic in optical power transmission and if anyone want to pursue his career in uh, optical transmission he must know the difference between the trans and receive power and that power ranges lies as per distance of the SFP or a link which is connected from end to end next one is the optical module receiver sensitivity test and this test is used to check the sensitivity of the optical power port for optical power you need to raise the power and it goes in shutdown mode once the power the port becomes up then you again check the sensitivity test result from sensitivity power meter next one is RJ45 module port test and for this purpose you need to connect your RJ45 ethernet cable with your laptop and after that we ping that IP address for 7750 if the ping is successful without packet loss then RJ45 module port test gradually becomes pass.